Dexter, a fawn-coloured French bulldog, lives with his human in an apartment in New York City. He eats food cooked especially for him, has four beds and countless tennis balls. Size small, of course. According to his human, Dexter enjoys eating, sleeping and sniffing. But Dexter has another life his human knows nothing about. He is the famous Detective Dexter. Every morning after his human leaves for work, Dexter puts on his detective hat, heads out onto the terrace, leaps onto the ledge and hops onto the fire escape where he keeps an office. His trusty assistant, a Pomeranian named Peanut, is always early and there is always a line of city dogs who need help. Dexter and Peanut are on their way to see Benedict, the treasure hunter. They go all the way to the East River and hop onto the Staten Island Ferry. Once on the island, they walk all the way to Silver Lake Park. There is the den. Typical. Peanut, be nice, please. You two have always gotten along. I'm, I'm just not a Fox fan. What can I say? You're not a fan because he ate half your hot dog. But he got you another one. I can forgive many things. But touching my food isn't one of them. <laughs> oh, Peanut. Suddenly, the door to the den opens. A red fox appears. Dexter? Benedict, how are you, old friend? Busy as usual. And yourself? Oh, very good. You remember Peanut? Of course. Hello, Benny. Hello, Bagel Eater. Call me that again. Call me Benny again. Okay, okay. Let's find some hot dogs and settle it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Peanut, it's good to see you. And you, as usual. But pause off the food. Never again. What brings you? We found a map, and we believe it leads to treasure. Well then, you've come to the right place. Come in. Dexter and Peanut enter Benedict's den. There are trinkets everywhere. All of his trophies from his treasure hunting. Dexter drops the map on the floor and they study it. This is Central Park. How do you know? See the cluster of cherry blossoms? That is their exact layout. Amazing. All that you know. Be a hunter long enough, you learn. So, we start at Central Park? Yes. Meet me by the 72nd Street entrance, first thing tomorrow. The next morning, Dexter and Peanut make their way to meet Benedict. He's early, of course, and already waiting. They follow him straight to the cherry blossoms. There, on the northeast side of the middle tree. Do you see it? That's where X marks the spot. Whoa! Shall we dig? Allow me. Benedict digs and digs and digs. Ah! What happened? Are you all right? I have something. Benedict pulls out what looks like a canister. It's a telescope. You're right. And look at this. Benedict cuts the piece of string around it with his claw and pours open the piece of paper. What is fabled does exist, but cannot be found without a twist. Look through the glass and find it there. Between the eyes and under the toes, find it there where no one goes. Look from afar. Too close will not reveal the very thing you have come to steal. Oh, I love rhymes. Cannot be found without a twist. Hmm. You must twist the telescope to see something farther away, closer. Between two eyes and under the toes. That's easy. Lady Liberty. Ah, yes. The Statue of Liberty. Look from afar. How? She faces out to sea. The ferry. The ferry home to Staten Island. We can look from the deck. That should be far enough. How will we twist the telescope? Hmm. Good point. I know someone. Benedict leads them to a large tree near the pond. Cecilia! A small squirrel pops her head out over the side of a branch. Benedict? It's me! Where have you been? How's the hunting? We are on a case, and we need your help. Cece, to the rescue! 
What can I do? We need you to handle the telescope. No problemo. From the ferry. Oh, now that's another story. Why? I get real bad motion sickness, Fluffy. Oh, me too. You just have to stare at the horizon. It helps. Believe me. I really can't. You guys have to find someone else. Sorry. Remember when I helped you find the uncrackable nut? Did I give up having to climb higher and higher, even though I am terrified of heights? No. Please, Cece, we need you. Well, I guess I can try. But if I throw up, I'm throwing up on you. <laughs> Deal. Good. It's settled. Now, we can catch the next boat if we move now. The dogs and the squirrel hop onto the Staten Island Ferry and wait on the deck until they are close. They set up the telescope and Cecilia twists. In goes the zoo. What am I looking for? Under the eyes. Between the toes. You'll find it there where no one goes. Okay. Cecilia looks and looks and then a flash of light. One of the bricks. Which one? Seventh from the left, ninth row down. Something is there. Great work. Okay, now let me off this thing. It's a round trip. Oh no! To Liberty Island we go! May we? Treasure Hunters United! Let's not get too carried away, Peanut. Um, the treasure hunting trio? Peanut. <laughs> Just kidding. To be continued.